Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to build our bookshelf. Um, it's going to be pretty straightforward, um, but it's got to be done. We're going to also add in the books. Added. <laughs> We're going to also add in the books um, that we've done in a previous video. Um, but what we'll do, we'll just import them. Um, so let's get cracking on with this. So what we're going to do, what I need to do first is reset the scale um, and then just go into edit mode. Um, so what do we do? I'm just going to select this front face and select I and just leave it like that. Then I'm going to shift Z. Shift Z. Now we're going to... There we go, shift Z. And then we're going to go into extrude on that Y. There we go to the back there. And shift Z again to go back into. Oh, what's happened there? We've undone the um, inset. Um, so shift Z and then extrude on the Y. Okay. That's better. Right then, what we're going to do now is I'm going to have a few shelves in here, and we're just going to do a con um, we're just going to do um, a couple of loop cuts. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Let's see how we do with these. I'm just going to select a couple here. We're just going to. Scale them on the Z. Whoa. Not on the Z. On. Come on. Right. Now we're going to scale them. What was on the Z? Don't know what's going on tonight. Um, we're going to do that one there. Shift Alt and scale on the Z again. And this one, and scale on the Z again. Oh, scale on the Z. That's what doing all sorts of funny things tonight. I tell you. Um, so these two, I'm just going to bring up because the bottom bit there is probably going to be like a little cupboard type thing. Which have like the doors in the front, like probably sliding doors, maybe like you no know, back in the whenever. Um, let's shift and let's just move these on up. So what we're going to do now is select number three, select that face and that face and W and bridge. Uh, where are we? Where's bridge? Come on, bridge. Oh, we was on it all the time. And then we're going to do the same again here. Well. And that one and W and bridge. That one, that one, oh, that one, that one, W bridge. Okay, and what we're going to do now is I'm just going to pull in a I'm going to create a shelf um, partitions, but they're going to be it's going to be a I'm just going to do like a cube. We just scale that right on down. Um, and we're just going to bring that right on in. Because then we can move these about, if you know what I mean, rather than messing about. Okay. And then. Um, scale that out there. So then we can just like move these about. We can just put them. So the top shelf I want as a like a book thing. Um, and then I might just have 
like these here and then that as a book thing so it just sort of like splits it up maybe or maybe we'll have this one here so we're gonna have that one there and then shift D on the Z bring that down there and then move that across maybe like that just to you know mix it up a little bit and I'm quite happy with that what we're going to do now is shift D on the Z and then this one let's just get the focus in on there and then this we're just going to make that a little bit bigger and we're going to rotate that and so these are going to be the front sliding doors maybe you don't have to have sliding doors if you don't want to but we'll have one here so that's kind of like a sliding door you have to scale that up and then shift d on the x Whoop. but this one is going to be back there like that <coughs> so sliding doors okay I mean I'm quite it's quite right actually it's actually better than what I yeah that's actually pretty damn good if you ask me I know you didn't but I'm giving you my my unbiased <laughs> I'm giving you my opinion anyway um yeah I'm quite happy with that so what I'm going to do now is just bring in the books so we're just going to select let's put the overlays on so we can see what we're selecting Control C. Now the books we've done in a previous video, so if you want, you can have a look at that one. Now we've got to find it. Oh my God! Look at the size of that beast. <laughs> It'd be a an encyclopedia and a half, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jeez! Look at it. Let's scale that right on baby down. Ooh. And then just take it on in there. We need to rotate it on the. Why aren't you rotating? Okay, we'll just do it manually. Look at the size of that beast. Let's just scale it right down to there. Move it across. I mean, I've, you know, books are probably never put into a bookcase, like, full-on straight. Or maybe they are. I know they probably will be in a library, but we are not in a library. Um, so that is that one. Ugh. There we go. That's better. So we've got that one there. Shift D on the X. We'll just put a couple more in. We could just scale them up just to make them look different sort of sizes. Obviously, you can change the colours of them. And they don't even have to be. Um, um, they don't even have to be. Sorry, I can only do one, one thing at a time. <laughs> so I have a think or do something um, yeah they don't even have to be like standing up so if you wanted you can duplicate on the X move it on over and then rotate I don't know why I make that funny noise but and then just chuck it there so you see, you just sort of put them in there. Shift D on the Z. And then just rotate that a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of a... 
homely sort of feeling, if you know what I mean. Shift D on the Z. How's that? Is that in there? Yeah, and you can just, you know. Sort of kind of like that. And there you go, there's your little bookshelf. I will be putting a few other bits and um, pieces in there. Um, you could obviously have a little vase in there. Um, what else could you? A little radio, maybe? Does anybody have radios anymore? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, DVDs, Blu ray. Does anybody watch them anymore? Um, you could drop them in there. I mean, you can probably make one of these into a DVD or Blu ray. S, uh, sorry, D. Ah, come out of there. D on the Z and then you can just it looks like a no it doesn't <laughs> we're just chucking like a cube um, a um, a cube scale that puppy right on down because that's going to be massive get on in there um, and scale that down even more I mean just gonna make it like a little DVD uh, blu-ray case or whatever floats your boat really or maybe your Xbox games Xbox games PS4 games they can be pretty much whatever in fact on here maybe we could have like an Xbox and a PS4 See what I did there? And we can just sort of like chuck them in there. Like that. Let's just give that a little... Let's just make it blue-ish. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and duplicate on the X. Duplicate on the X. So you can pretty much make them into whatever, whatever you want really. I think that's looking pretty darn good. You can change the um, the colour of the books. Um, let's change that to nice blue. Um, yeah, you can do pretty much whatever, really. I mean, that's not... Is that bad? Is that not bad? Let me know what you think. Is it tall enough? Maybe it's not tall enough. Maybe it's got to be scaled up even bigger. Let's scale this up, because I don't actually... I'm not sure... If this is going to be... Big enough. Scale. Whoa, what's... Oh, have I... God damn it. I even scaled up the building. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Okay, let's just select that. Let's select that. Select. Oh, come on. Select that. Select that. Want that and that. Now let's scale. Whoa. Now that is massive. Maybe we could make it. Bring it out and then make it. A bit thinner. Like that. Uh, maybe. I think it just wasn't tall enough. I think that's what the problem was. Now obviously the books need a bit of scaling. <coughs> but you can see where we're going. You can see where we're going with this. Just 
move them on up to the top there. Select those to three and move on up. And the game's just floating in midair. Oh, we've still got those selected. We've got them all done. One, two, three. There we go. We can just chuck them in there. And we just scale them up. Whoop. Yeah, it looks okay. We'll just move them along a smidge to the end. Oh. That one, that one, and that one. Move it over. And there we go. That is our book case. Our book case. Um, yeah, so there... There we go, it probably I need to scale it up a little bit better than what it is because I mean it looks okay. Just the mirror maybe looks a little bit small. But oh I think that's gotta be one thing we've got to sort out. Um so anyway, that's um that for today. Um oh, what's going on? Come on. Oh, that's it. Um, I need to, yeah, I need to scale that up properly because it doesn't, it just doesn't look, doesn't stand, doesn't look right. Maybe the mirror is too small. I don't know. I don't know yet. I need to assess it. Um, but the next time we come back on there, that will be done. Um, so anyway, I know it was just a bit of a short video. I know it was a bit of an easy video. It was an easy tutorial. Um, so, you know, if you didn't know how to make a bookcase or shelves and that, you do now. If you did and you got bored, I do apologise. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, and we will do, I don't, I'm not sure what we're going to do on the next video. Um, I will... It'll be a surprise. I will assess what is going on. What's going on in the house. We need to do something there. That's for sure. We still need to do the conservatory. We still need to do bits and pieces in the kitchen there. Um, so we could like maybe put a few more um, plates and that sort of stuff in here if you see what I mean you have to excuse the reflection there <laughs> not we're not really outside um, so yes that's um, that's where we are at the moment maybe we could do like the microwave a toaster maybe um, but some of it will be on a time-lapse kind of video um, and we'll see what happens so yes yeah, so thanks for watching um and we will see you on the next video see you on the next video ta-da for now